Hey folks, good evening. Uh, I'm a little late in posting this, but uh, I've, I'm afraid I've been coming down with a cold lately, so I apologize if I'm a little rambly and kind of hard to hear, uh, but them's the breaks. So, uh, what do I want to talk about? Well, let's see. Um, the Liminal Man. Edits are coming along. Uh, part 2 is almost complete, edit-wise. Uh, I did a rough estimation tonight. I think I've trimmed about 13,000 words out of the entire manuscript, which uh, is kind of a big deal, I think. Um, when I originally set out to write the book, I had a target of 90,000, and I blew past that and hit uh, around 116, I think it was. But uh, that's that's where we stand right now. Um, wrote out another character. She was very, very minor. Uh, although now that I think about it, I think uh, the only characters I have written out have both been female. Uh, you can read into that however you want, but I assure you nothing was intended by it. Uh, and, yeah, I also happen to have a title for the prologue for book three. Am I going to share it with you? Am I going to be devious and sadistic and dangle it in front of your faces? No, not tonight. I'm not telling you the book title, but uh, uh, the prologue for book three is going to be called Strange Days. Now I will let uh, you imagine what that entails. In case you have been in the dark, haven't been following me uh, last uh, week or so, I have a feature running over at Bloody Bookish, which is a dark fiction blog. Uh, my good friend Mary Rajat is uh, putting together a contest for Life Transparent. In fact, you can head on over there right now and leave a comment and be entered. Now there are also a few other ways to enter, such as following Bloody Bookish on Twitter, following me on Twitter, but uh, it just increases your odds of winning, and right now your odds are pretty good because I don't think anyone has entered yet. So, please enter. Please, you know, show your support. Um, at stake is a signed copy of Life Transparent. There are three of them that we're giving away, and one of them could be yours. So, if you don't have one, or even if you do have one, but know somebody in your life who doesn't, but really should, and let's face it, everybody who doesn't really should, uh, feel free to go leave a comment, enter the contest, and like I said, right now your odds are pretty good of winning, so go, do it now. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention, uh, actually I mentioned this last time, is that I had enrolled in, well, I was going to enroll in Amazon's KDP Select program. Now, to do so, I had to delist a Life Transparent from Smashwords and subsequently all other distribution channels. Amazon wants to be exclusive, and uh, I'm willing to give it a shot considering 99% of the revenue that came in from the Life Transparent last year was through Amazon. It uh, didn't really make any other money. Uh, through the other channels. It doesn't mean I didn't have sales, they just weren't a lot of sales. So uh, I had to bite the bullet and give it a shot. And at this point, I'm not even really interested in sales per se. It's more so about their free promotion and the visibility that it gets. I'm all for giving the book away for free if it means getting it into the hands of 20, 30, 40,000 people. So that's uh, that's where we stand right now. the The book has been pulled from digitally from Smashwords, Barnes and Noble, iTunes, Kobo, Diesel, Sony, everybody, and it is now up and live. Well, as it always has been on Amazon, but the difference is is that you can now read the book for free if you are an Amazon Prime member. You can also lend the book, which I, I believe you always could. You can lend the book to anybody else that you want, and uh, a bit of an announcement to make, 
the first promotional day for a live transparent and I only get five of these per quarter uh, the first day is this Friday March 2nd it'll be starting at 3 a.m. Pacific time correction it'll be starting at 12 a.m. Pacific time 3 a.m. Eastern and going for a full 24 hours so in that time you'll be able to download a life transparent absolutely free no charge to you free <laughs> uh, and I would like to encourage you to do so if you have received a life transparent uh, via other means for example if you were one of my Kickstarter backers if you uh, received it from me as a part of a contest, if you were a winner of a contest, and I sent you a file, uh, I would encourage you to please go to Amazon and download it through uh, the page so it counts toward my ranking and through the lending. What I'm really counting on here uh, is that when you go to buy it through Amazon, it'll get pulled into their system and it'll show up uh, as uh, and the recommendation engine. So whenever you go to a page and it says uh, customers also purchased, it's not going to distinguish between free and paid downloads. If you download it, it's going to show up for other viewers on the site. So the more times it shows up in that little banner that says customers also purchased, well, you get the idea. If that happens a few hundred times, it could lead to potentially more downloads. And that's what I'm really counting on. Again, I don't care if it makes money or not at this point. I just want the book in more hands, in front of more pairs of eyes. So if you could do that for me, I would appreciate that so much. I got a couple of shout-outs tonight. Uh, I want to thank Dorothy, my friend Dorothy, and uh, her wonderful book club for a great discussion a couple of weeks ago. I had the pleasure of talking to them for almost two hours uh, back on the 16th, discussing a life transparent. I, I went into that call expecting all of them to hate it, and to my wonderful surprise, they all loved it. So again, thank you, Dorothy, and uh, I suspect she'll also pass this around to her book club members. So thank you all for uh, your kind words. I also want to give a shout out uh, to some author friends of mine. Uh, since I've been working on a sequel, uh, I'm not the only one working on a sequel. Uh, i got a few books here to show you as examples. Uh, my friend Henry Baum is the author of The American Book of the Dead. It's a very interesting read. I really liked it. Uh, if you like sci-fi or uh, politics or even religion and philosophy, you're gonna find it all in here. It's kinda of trippy toward the end, but trust me, if you like any of those genres, you're gonna like this. Uh, he's been compared to Philip K. Dick, so that should give you some uh, grounds for comparison. He's working on part two, and I think he's hoping to have it released in the next few months. I could be wrong, maybe? Next up is my friend R.J. Keller. Uh, if you aren't familiar with her, she is the author of Waiting for Spring, which is probably uh, the only pseudo-romantic novel I've ever read and thoroughly enjoyed. Um, I'd probably call it more of a literary novel than uh, romance, but mm, that's debatable. But in any case, I liked it. I think you should buy it. I think you should buy lots of copies of it because R.J. is a really good writer. And she is working on a sequel tentatively titled The Windy House. I don't know if that's set in stone or not, and I'm sure she will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, she's also one of the Paper Rats, which I, I've linked to their videos on Facebook before. Uh, you should go check them out as well. And uh, I can't really say that uh, this next author is actively working on a sequel. He did just finish a sequel. Uh, Craig Lancaster, uh, who wrote Quantum Physics and the Art of Departure, which is an incredible collection, and I think you should read it right now. Go buy it. Uh, 
he just finished a sequel to his uh, first novel, 600 Hours of Edward. I have not read that one, but I have read uh, his second novel, The Summer Sun, and that's a really, really good, heartfelt book. Again, you should check that one out as well. So, all of these folks are working on sequels. I am not alone, and they're all better writers than I am, so you should go check them out. In closing, because I've gone on for far too long already, uh, I wanted to end with uh, something that I read tonight uh, by John Steinbeck. He wrote this to his editor after completing his novel East of Eden, and I know I always uh, pick on my editor, Amelia, uh, especially on Facebook, because it, it's so damn fun, but trust me, she, she dishes it out in the manuscript edits um, more so than uh, you will ever know. Uh, but uh, this is one for her and really for every other writer that I know personally and professionally. And uh, it's something that I think everybody can relate to who is an artist of any medium, really. So uh, I'm going to read this to you and then I'm going to call it a night because I'm kind of tired. Although sometimes I have felt that I held fire in my hands and spread a page with shining, I have never lost the weight of clumsiness, of ignorance, of aching inability. A book is like a man, clever and dull, brave and cowardly, beautiful and ugly. For every flowering thought there will be a page like a wet and mangy mongrel, and for every looping flight a tap on the wing, and a reminder that wax cannot hold the feathers firm too near the sun. Good night.